Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I will be talking about vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner that I currently have and new vacuum cleaner that just got delivered and reasons for this, I wouldn't call it review, it's a pre-review video and reasons how I got to this point and why I'm reviewing what I'm reviewing. But here's a brief history. I never had a cordless vacuum cleaner in my life. I think with exception some 10 years ago of what handheld vacuum cleaner to clean the car. It was a nightmare. And that kind of pushed me away from cordless vacuum cleaners until people start hardly talking about Dyson. I never could afford Dyson anyway, so I did not buy until um, sales for end of the year and I guess people were highly, you know, recommending Dyson and that point in time Dyson V8 or version 8 was the latest vacuum cleaner that was around four and a half, five years ago and I finally accepted the fate and got myself Dyson version 8. It was a good vacuum cleaner for two years. I would not say it would 100% replace my corded vacuum cleaner and uh, those two years I had two vacuum cleaners, one corded, one cordless. Uh, most of the time I was working with cordless and probably once a month I was cleaning with a corded vacuum cleaner. And after two years I noticed that battery would not hold as much and some, because of the battery I get some functions were not working well and I just realized my Dyson is out of warranty and the battery replacement was more expensive than buying a new vacuum cleaner so I kind of uh, passed it on to my parents and get myself um, this baby it's Dyson version 11 and um, I've been working with this vacuum cleaner for the last two years and um, I've been vacuuming quite large house which is um, one house being uh, three bedrooms and then we moved to five bedroom house and I'm currently now again in three bedroom house and what can I say that's an amazing vacuum cleaner but it kind of repeats the history and uh, the battery starts slowing down as well as uh, the main carpet brush stop sensing the carpet it's like auto sensing uh, brush so it kind of um, applies more vacuum and power when it senses the carpet so that brush stops kind of responding to carpet well and I was monitoring my warranty position and just month before warranty expired I called Dyson and uh, there were no questions asked they sent me new battery and new brush and it's working well again and by the way um, everyone who can afford Dyson I still recommend buying Dyson but let's be honest uh, version 11 when I bought it was $1,200 in the shops and still you know it still costs more than $800 to buy a new new vacuum cleaner uh, in any sense doesn't matter how much money you earn $800 it's a lot of money to spend on vacuum cleaner and now when my Dyson is two and a half years old and I'm not expecting it to fail, but it can fail any time, I'm asking myself a question. Um, is $1,000 vacuum cleaner is what I really need? Or I can try to buy another brand vacuum cleaner, reputable brand, and see if it won't match performance, I'm pretty sure Dyson is Dyson. But you know, spending fraction of the price, can I achieve what I need to achieve to clean my property? And that led me to this baby. I've got 
Electrolyte, Electrolux Wall Q7. It's a little bit different concept from Dyson. So from what I can see, the stick is on top when Dyson have a, a barrel on top as an engine motor itself. And then down the bottom, you've got vacuum cleaner that is detachable with the um, brush. So it's a different vacuum cleaner, but um, honestly, it costs third of the Dyson. And I trust Electrolux that they're producing good products. Um, this is why I'm not calling this video as a review, because I will create separate videos on unboxing. Then I'll properly charge vacuum cleaner and then do full review as what Electrolux is and how it compares to Dyson, even though I don't believe it's a fair comparison. Um, you know, for example, if I got the latest uh, Korean car and I buy a BMW and Mercedes, even though um, it's a different uh even though it's like I'm saving money, but the car is so different, it's not fair, not fair to compare. But still, you know, whoever cannot afford a lot of money for new Dyson, maybe this would be a good choice for you. So before I unpack it, and I probably, uh, today is Friday in Brisbane, Australia, uh, I probably will take my time over the weekend looking at the feedback, what people say about this video. If you have any questions or you would like me to create a specific video before I unpack or after I unpack or unpacking, let me know what you would like to see, what you're most interested in, and I create videos accordingly. At the moment, I plan to do the first video of unpacking and what's in the box. The second video after charging, it's a performance and my first impressions. And the third video, probably I'll create how it compares to Dyson, performance-wise, price-wise, convenience, how it will it hold charge, how good it's cleaning up floors, carpet floors, tile floors, uh, wood floors, etc. And also, I may create a separate video, or maybe part of the third video, if you detach the little portion of it when become handheld vacuum cleaner i'll go and clean my car and see how that compares with dyson uh, mind you dyson is an amazing vacuum cleaner especially version 11 you change your settings and you change attachments and literally it's so versatile it's good for household it's good to clean the car good to clean kitchen separately uh, windows ceilings whatever you dream about this vacuum clean I expect will be a little bit different due to mostly it's designed for floor cleaning and handheld, I guess, rubbish cleaning. It's not designed for ceilings and etc. But still, it's $600 cheaper than Dyson and it doesn't have to be the same. Maybe it's different enough for to convince you to have a handheld vacuum cleaner and not to deal with cords anymore. Anyhow, uh, this video was short to get you through the history, how I got to this point, why I will be reviewing Electrolux Well Q7. And please let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see in my future reviews and if any particular feature of this vacuum cleaner or difference between Dyson and Electrolux would be of your interest. Well, thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next video.